Hello again, Rob Sarmanian with Oaks, and today we are in East Ham, Massachusetts, which is part of Cape Cod, and I'm standing on the shores of Great Pond, which is directly across the street from our subject property. So let's head across there and build the Perkrite drip dispersal system. All right, so we're at Great Pond, heading across the street. Let's go take a look at our drip dispersal field. So because of the proximity to the water and the need to be out of the ground, we have a raised retaining wall situation here. So the drip field is surrounded by a concrete retaining wall. So here we are from the other perspective of the drip dispersal field down below. You can see how high the retaining wall needs to be on the house side. And then behind the house, opposite a great pond, is depot pond. So literally this house has water on just about three sides. So here's our field. We have a little bit of fill extension from the end of the tubing to the retaining wall with insulation. You can imagine when it's sticking up out of the ground like this that there could be a chance for lateral frost. So the site contractor and engineer did a good job at setting it up to achieve insulation on the inside of the wall to prevent that side frost. Just down below from the field are our tanks and our equipment. So Bob the electrician is finishing up the wiring. You can see the hydraulic unit in place with the pump supply line going in. Gravity return going all the way back to the inlet of the primary tank. And then the supply and return one inch lines are headed from the hydraulic unit into a sleeve that goes at the footing of this retaining wall, like so. We have our supply, our return, our loops. And that, my friends, is Great Pond Road in East Ham, Massachusetts. Thank you.